will be probably saying like, what did you think going to Hermes and purchasing a blanket? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sofo and I am filming today another sit-down video on my Hermes Avalon blanket, which I just have here for you to see. It's in this beautiful nude brown of white colors, as you can see on this corner. And it's pretty difficult for me to show the entire piece because of its size, but I'm gonna insert a footage how it beautifully drapes over our couch. Um, that's where basically it resides. Um, and I think, not I think, I'm sure, I posted this week a picture on my Instagram, which I'm gonna insert somewhere over here as well. When we got our new cushion pillows for the couch from Missoni Home, I really loved the combination, so I took a picture and posted it in there. And that was the moment actually when I decided that I had to do this review because I was sort of following the same path for which I fell. Saying that I don't want this to be taken like that I'm regretting purchasing this item because to be very honest I'm indecisive about it. Um, I just wish that the future buyers out there who will be like me looking online for pros and cons of this particular piece uh, to be more informed about what comes with this price tag. Now, when we talk about if something is worth the money, there is no one clear ultimate answer to that. Of course, it depends on your financial condition because for the ultra rich people, probably that's not even a big deal. They buy it if it doesn't work or suit their lifestyle, they just put it away, that's it. So um, if you have a list of we like things which you want to achieve and buy in a particular year and uh, this one is on top of your list, but you're not really well informed about the negative sides, of course, that's sort of a downer because you might be really disappointed in what you got and I doubt that this item keeps the resale value especially being a homeware um, and that you could get rid of it as easily without making a big loss. So financial aspect plays a big role. Another point is that things which annoy one particular person might not be the same for another one so when I'm talking about the negative sides um, that might be less relevant or important for you but at least good to be informed about it. Now to get to the point, everyone knows that Hermes Avalon blanket is sort of called the Birkin of homeware. It is like an ultimate accessory for every stylish household out there. Okay, every is a bit exaggerated, of course, um, but um, that's how I fell for it. Um, scrolling through Pinterest, number of beautiful houses, that was a piece which was in almost every beautiful um, interior, draping on a beautiful couch or on their stool in the nurseries even. So I was always wondering like who buys such an expensive blanket for nursery? But obviously it just got into me so much that the idea settled in after a while. As you know, blanket is made of the mix between wool and cashmere, which makes it super luxurious, cozy. Even my husband, who is not into brands at all, loves this blanket, especially with this neutral colors, which we chose. It beautifully blends in our interior. Um, also, it's a statement piece, saying that it blends in. At the same time, it stands out because of this big age, which is imprinted on four corners of this blanket, as you can see. As for the measurements, um, the length of the blanket is 165 centimeter with um, paired with 135 centimeter in width, which is not a world. I am petite girl and of course for me it's more than enough. I can cover up myself completely with it. Um, but for a normal size human or a bit like larger size human body, I think that is barely enough. No talking about like cuddling up together under the blanket. That's almost not really possible with this blanket. But to be very honest, even when you scroll through on any like social media platform, this particular piece is used as a decorative object on couches or in the interiors rather than as a, as a full blanket, um, which is something interesting and I wish I would have known before I got it. I am against buying items which are not very useful in an everyday environment. I don't like buying things and just putting them aside just to look pretty or just to look at. Um, in a home interior that can be that can be something which I can contemplate at least, but with clothing that is big no-no for me, 
everything I buy I want to use and that is the only purpose with which I'm purchasing an item. When we got this blanket, first few weeks we directly started to use it and it was so beautiful and I loved it. As told, the feeling under it was really amazing. But I noticed the thing that it was peeling like crazy. It was peeling like you have not seen anything else. It was just removing the layers and layers of the blanket every time you folded it together. I was just wondering what is wrong with it. I, if I did not buy it in the shop, I would have wondered if it was fake. But obviously having the mix of merino wool and cashmere creates this peeling effect, which is something you cannot get rid of. So I contacted some other Instagrammers who have this blanket as well, and they just confirmed to me that their blanket does the same thing. Um, I think this is fair to put it out there on the internet so for people to know it, especially with the price tag. This blanket retails for 1,200 euro. It's a blanket after all. So yeah, when you think about it, that you're buying a blanket for that price and can't even use it, it's a bit ridiculous. So after a few weeks of using, I just went ahead and bought another blanket for another 200 euro, which sounds absolutely insane to me, um, which we are using at the moment. And this one just plays decorative piece in our living room. So yeah. Now I want to also emphasize that I'm not a person who babies their items. I use all of my bags. I just pay normal attention like any other item which is not a luxury good or carry this insane price tag. I just care for them, I just don't drop them on the ground or don't trash them around but I don't give it a special treatment. Those are things and things are supposed to be used. So that is my philosophy but with this particular blanket my mind almost blew up seeing how much it was peeling so I just couldn't stand seeing every day this blanket getting deteriorated, especially with the price it came with. I think that was the reason why I decided to go ahead and purchase another blanket, which is absolutely insane to think how much blanket for a couch has cost me all in all. Now, why I went and bought <laughs> Hermes blanket? You'll be probably saying like, what did you think going to Hermes and purchasing a blanket? So, um, yeah. Obviously, I know that when purchasing something at Hermes, you are buying a name and it is no surprise to anyone that I am sort of into branded things. Um, if you are following my channel, you should definitely know that about me. Um, so I was aware in what I was getting into. Um, I was contemplating between the Dior blanket and this one because I love both of them. The Canage one on the Dior looks so, so beautiful. Also, you find a lot more reviews on the Dior uh, blanket in comparison to the Hermes Avalon one, even though this is so much longer out there and it's a classic since 90s. Um, yeah, at least I couldn't find any information with regards to that. I'll be very honest as well, saying hereby that um, I went there to as well place my wish list for Hermes Kelly, which is something you have to sort of earn um, when shopping at Hermes. You are not really readily um, given this handbag just like that, even if you have, have enough money or you can afford it or you wish to afford it. Um, so. That was one particular reason which pushed me a bit in the direction of splurging on the homeware piece which was still already in my mind and I liked visually. It comes very bad probably for many and very snobbish but I am really, really not a snobbish person. Um, it's just the truth. I am into luxury goods and I am purchasing them. But in the communication with our sales associate we discussed many topics, even having cats and what that could mean with regards to owning such blanket, it never really coined, um, but the peeling never really was a topic of discussion. He never really mentioned uh, anything with regards to that. So I already had this blanket in my head because of all the imagery which I have seen all over. So it was something which I wished for myself, but it was not like one and only blanket which I was contemplating. I liked also the Dior blanket, and as far as I know, that one doesn't have any peeling issues. Um, so um, yeah, it was between that one and this. Uh, but then 
what played a big role in deciding for Hermes blanket was my wish list for Hermes Kelly. So if there was not the bag topic in the game, I have to be very honest, I don't know if my choice primarily would lie with the Hermes blanket as opposed to the Dior one, which is as well insanely beautiful. Um, yeah. I just meant to be very frank and open about it. I know a lot of people find it shameful and they just say that this is their dream blanket. Yeah, it, it was a beautiful blanket which I always wished for myself, like I wish for myself um, a Louis Vuitton trunk, but it's sort of unrealistic right now and I'm not like thinking that without owning that my life doesn't have a purpose, it would be same for this blanket. I don't know if I would have just stood up and went out and bought this blanket if it was not the topic of the bag. Purchasing this makes my chances for the bag better. Who knows? It's not written anywhere that if you purchase things at a mess that you get a better chance. I just anyway liked it and was anyway gonna purchase one or another designer piece um, and that's just how it happened. I feel like I repeated myself 20 times but just wanted to put it very very clear and honest out there so yeah. I think that is it for my review of this blanket. Um, I cannot think of anything else which would be important and relevant at the moment. But if there is anything which I've missed on and you have a question, please leave the comment in the comment section below. I will definitely check it out and answer you within my knowledge and within my capabilities. Uh, so feel free to do that. I think that was a good idea to discuss something which has not really worked 100% for us, at least as I imagined it. So um, if you are interested, I will be as well posting my worst purchases over the last few years because I just started this video, this channel this year, so it doesn't make sense to just only focus on 2020. Um, and if you're interested in such kind of video, please stay on board, like and subscribe this channel, or maybe ring the bell if you want to be updated when I post. Uh, I post two times a week, or once, um, depending on time. Uh, sometimes vlogs, sometimes, sometimes sit-down videos, and I will be very, very glad to see you back over here. For now, I'll say bye.